The Winter Gardens opened in 1897 and it was built as an addition to an existing structure called the Winter Gardens and this was actually known as the Victoria Pavilion. Opened in July the 19th, 1897 and this year's it's our 125th anniversary. It was built as a concert hall, hence why we've got this incredible auditorium and ceiling and it was also built as a variety theatre. And over the years it's had five different owners, uh, different uses, but always been at the heart of it a performance venue for live performance, music, shows, theatre. And what we really want to do is to take this Sleeping Beauty and bring it back as a full-time music venue. In 1977, the theatre was closed for two reasons, really. One, that was lots of structural issues in the building. And really, I think like theatres all over the country were closing. It was a, a victim of the declining summer season. It was almost too big for purpose. It wasn't built for um, declining crowds. It was built for a, a fully operational seaside tourist attraction. So it closed in 1977 and then it had a very difficult few years where its, its future lay in the balance. And the building of which it was attached to was demolished in 1982. And through the amazing work of the Friends of the Winter Gardens, who were formed in 1986 to save this building, they managed to get it listed, um, preserved, and then over the last next 20 years, spent a lot of time and energy raising the money to buy the building. So the biggest piece of restoration work has without doubt been the amazing work on the ceiling. So it's basically was cleaned, half a tonne of dirt was taken out of it, and then all the new attachments, stainless steel wires were put into the plaster attachments, over 1,000 new attachments onto the ceiling, and then new restoration pieces. And then the second piece of the restoration, which has been going on for the last six weeks, has been the actual infrastructure. So the roof, the gods, the work in that area gives us the potential to make this building watertight. And we were very, very fortunate the last three storms that hit the building didn't do any more major damage, but a series of lead thefts over the last 10 years, inadequate replacement of materials. Now we're looking at restoring or putting the roof back into its fully functional and stopping water and leakage coming in. So the work that UK Restoration Service has done has been fantastic. And it's actually wonderful to see the enthusiasm and love. I found that with all the tradesmen and craftsmen who've come into the building, it's a privilege to work in this building. And I think the love and attention of such specialist skills craftsmen coming back into the building and almost replicating the work that was done 125 years ago and to the same standards will give it another century of use and that's what we hope. I think the building is nationally loved. When we looked at the people who came to the Levellers, lots and lots of Yorkshire, from the North East, from Lincolnshire, from Manchester, and probably about 30% from Cumbria. So the catchment area for the Winter Gardens is about 1.2 million people. And what we're wanting to show is believe in us, invest in us, get us, support us so we can pay these, continue to pay, the incredible craftsmen and companies who've come in and done their specialist care. But alongside that, we have a group of restoration volunteers who are retired craftsmen, builders, plumbers, workers from the Morecambe area who come in twice a week and give their time to make the building available for the public of Morecambe. The last two years have been a roller coaster. Operating and taking over a chair of a trust two months before a world pandemic was not something I envisaged. I thought it was going to be a challenge, but not as much as it has been. But I, I love this building. I grew up in this building. My family had the fairground outside. Uh, to me, it's part and parcel of what being a Sangronan is, that having this Winter Gardens back and restored at the heart of Morecambe's future is my legacy and also the legacy of all the volunteers and all the people before me who invested their love and energy in the building and all the people ahead of me who will continue to support this building.